Hello everyone, Dan here from Sherp ET. This is the second video of the Sherp attending the 2022 Battle on the Bago event. Uh, got some vi video coming up here with some people going out for the first time riding the Sherp. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so Dan's going to tell you a little uh, safety here. Yeah, so, so there's four life preservers up there, so you can grab two if we fall in. It's all good. Okay? So, yeah. remember about the window, too, right? Yeah. So what we're going to do, can you see right now? We're going to drive right through that. All that oh. busted up ice is from us. So we're going to drive into the water. Yeah, you can go. You can videotape. Do whatever you but want. But you're gonna do the same, right? So well, I could just grab the video from here. You could. You could. Yeah. I'll see. Maybe I'll have some trying to record, but you gotta hold on. Yeah. So you notice that there's this right now. This ice is probably about two inches thick. I wouldn't walk here. This is actually because the tires are so big, not really falling into it a lot. All right. <laughs> I've never done it. So what's going on here right now is the front of the Sherp is basically up on the ice and we're trying to pull those back tires up onto the ice. But as you can see, we haven't been successful. We were bouncing this way and that. And bottom line, I think it was all because I did not have the correct tire pressure in the Sherp. And we had a lot of water that just went up on top of that ice and the ice was very smooth to start with. So the combination of both just made it a challenge. And my pressure gauge for the tires has been having some challenges here recently. Um, I'll probably fix that this summer, but I can get by. I'll be 100% honest. We struggled getting back up on the ice. The pressure gauge is so important to make sure that you're running the correct tire pressure to be able to pop back up on the ice because you want to have about about 60 millimeters of mercury. I wouldn't advise doing that, but uh, we were all basically trying to put all of our weight on the front, and the front tires were just spinning and spinning. Um, eventually, we did get the tire pressure correct, and we were able to get back up on the ice. Uh, but I was not able to capture it. There you can see it right there in the shadow about how much I was sticking You're myself out. Again. 
well, I think this is kind of good footage. So if you wanted to watch it, if you maybe watched it on slow motion, you'd be able to see this a little bit better. But uh, we spent approximately, I think it was like six minutes trying to get back up on that ice before I got that tire pressure correct. This video right here is sped up, I think, 400%. Um, you can just kind of see us trying to get up onto that ice, kind of just giving up and going back down again. Um, a couple of times what has happened is, and I think that's coming up here, is one of the tires will remain up on one side of the Sherp remains up on the ice, and then the other side is down. And when it does that, you're kind of at a pretty extreme angle when you're going through the ice. That gets a little nervous. It's just a reminder, and I've said it many, many times, you just got to be perfectly perpendicular to that ice when you're going up on it, or you are going to slide off on one side. So eventually we did make it out of the water and got him back safe and sound. Left the Sherp sit at the festival for a little while, and you can kind of see some people coming in and going as we waited for our next group of folks. Awkward. <laughs> I caught, dude, I caught this big turbot today. You saw it like a lot because you saw the white belly mm -hmm. and then he walked back and we were sitting stuff away. Wow. Well, we're, I'll show you. Yeah, for right now. But I'll, you want to see what it'll do? Yeah. We'll go to it and get the phone off. You care if you're on YouTube? No. no. Oh, you got a camera right there? Yep, I got a camera. Oh, God. This is actually a more comfortable ride back here than I thought it was. I don't know if you're going to say that once we do something. Well, you know there is a speed limit on the lake, right? Okay, yeah, it's 35 on the lake. What? That's asking if you can get off this lake. Is that what you feel? Um, we called our ticket. Yeah, we could. You don't know if they're big enough yet. Yeah. So how does that work with the tickets and the You have to register a fish and get one ticket to register. <laughs> so what'd you think? That's awesome. Cool. Well, that's a good shot because you can see the sherpa in there. Alright, wait. Alright, take it easy. All right, just sit uh, on your butt. Hold on the ice we're getting ready to take off. You want us to come up for one more? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Later. Yeah, we're coming. Oi, 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 oi. That's Good, not good. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Oh, yeah. Hey, let me take the ball story. No, I'll take this. I'll take that. Yeah. Your best bet is sit on your butt and then go down that gotcha. way. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Same Alright, man. The note? Yep. Oh, yeah, oh you want me to come up there? Check it out. Lake Winnebago, basically all the connecting tributaries you can fish in as part of this whole tournament. They had some uh, good food in there, some vendors were out there, they had plenty of beer, and merchandise, some really nice merchandise, and they had the music. 
is something else that you can take a couple of You can see some of the people there. There was a line that was literally hundreds and hundreds of yards long to weigh in fish, but they were walking steadily, very quickly through it. It was just amazing. Again, very, very well organized. I don't know how much ice there is. I would guess a couple of feet. I'm not 100% sure of that, maybe not quite that much back here. See some of the various folks that are out there, even Jimmy Ice Drill is here. A lot of people don't even do that anymore. It's too, waste too much electricity or too much gas, so they just take their teeth and they gnaw at the teeth, they gnaw at the ice until they get through. fingernails, toenails. Oh, there's a December yard. Well, and here we're coming back up over to the truck. Sorry for the delay in getting this second video out there. Hope you enjoy it, everyone. Hope to be there again next year. Uh, I'm not sure what my next trip adventure is going to be. I went snowmobiling this past weekend, so there may be a little delay in footage. Take care, everyone.